The Tinubu I know is a totally different person now. Shetima expresses worry. Wow. Hmm. So I think the second person coming out now to say that Tinubu we know today is not the Tinubu that everybody has known right from 1999 that he was the governor of Lagos State. There are a lot of changes in him and about him that right now even people that used to know him can't really pray, can't say they know him now. Because that's saying the man that I see now is different from the man they used to know in the time past. Meaning that a lot of changes have taken place in Tinubu and it's no it's no longer who he used to be. Hmm. The national leader of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, Shatima Yerima, has expressed reservations about the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Nigerian News reports that Shatima, during an interview with the Punch, said Tinubu, who was once a pro-democracy activist, is no longer the person in the seat of power at the uh, at the Asorok Presidential Villa in Abuja. The AYCF uh, national president, who was a former youth director of the political pressure group Nadeko, which fought the late General Sani Abacha's military junta in the early 90s, said those of them who were pro-democracy activists in the trenches with Tinubu to enthrone the nation's fledging democracy now have reservations about him. Oh boy. He hoped that President Tinubu's government had not been hijacked by the usual Asura cabals as experienced in the immediate past administration of Muhammad Buhari. Shatima also faulted some of the Tinubu's appointments where youths are neglected in preference to the old brigades. The youth leader admonished the president to learn from Buhari, who surrounded himself with those who caged him while presiding over the affairs of the country between 2015 and 2023. He says some of us now have reservations about the president, the Bolatinovo that I know, and that I once worked uh, with in the t trenches is a totally different person now. I hope it is not what I I'm thinking, and I don't want to believe that he would be hijacked by the same characters. So I expect that by the coming of Tinubu, certain things would have happened where he would begin to believe in his present generation that the old men of the past who have worked with him and the same people coming back totally, uh, tactically behind the doors. Some of them have a lot of influence on the government. I hope that he will not allow himself to be carried away. He also learned from what happened to his predecessor. I hope he will be remembered positively because my prayers are that this present government that I ascribed as our, as our government should live up to expectations. So I have my reasons when I said it is our government. It is our government because it is a product of our struggle. Even though I have worked closely with him and recently from a far distance, I still relate very well to him. I am one of those behind the scenes with my counterpart, Mujahid Asari Dokubo, making statements for the youth otherwise. Hmm. Making statement for Tinubu's uh, presidency. So what is Shetima Yerima is saying here, uh, the national leader of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, is saying that Tinubu is saying today is obviously not the Tinubu he used to know. Something has changed. Tinubu that fought, or that rather was a part of Nadeko that fought military administration in Nigeria to enthrone democracy, is not the Tinubu that is seeing the way it is today. And the fears is that uh, he hopes the government has not been hijacked by so-called Asurok Kabas the way the same way it happened with uh, Buhari's administration. Because the thing we see today, obviously, is not the person in charge of the government and it's not the person that he used to know. Hmm. Oh, wow. The thing said his father, uh, Nadeko, but right now, he looks to be very strange. Um, 
to Nadeko members right now because he is not the person they used to know. He's not the person that used to um, it, that was championing that this fight against uh, the military to enthrone democracy in Nigeria. So somebody is saying here in the comment section, if you say youths are not given appointment in this government, it means you are being economical with the truth. Hmm. Who are the youths? All these 50, 60, 70 years old men, are they the youths? <laughs> Somebody said, don't mind him, he is selfish and he's expecting Tinubu to give him appointment. Anybody who says Tinubu doesn't recognize you is blind. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> And then somebody says Shatima uh, is so and so he thought Tinubu is a fool. He has forgotten that Tinubu is a wise Yoruba man. Okay, maybe he's expecting him to be doing like Fulani man. Go and sit down, my friend. Shatima should stop disturbing Tinubu. All of you that foment evil in Nigeria will go out of circulation. <laughs> that sounds like a curse. That sounds like a curse. Okay, now nah, nah, what you concern you for their matter? Eh? They call your name there. Abi, hey, now nah, wow. Eh? Yerima uh, claims to have fought alongside Tinubu Nadeko against military Jonathan Fabacha, and he's still a youth. So, when will you grow from youth to man? <laughs> that is another thing. So if you if you are part of those people that fought for democracy um, between 1984 and 1999, and you are still a youth, so when will you grow into adulthood? That has to be tested, man. So also your brain is very sharp, man, and that is it. That's a very good analogy, okay? Very good uh, analogy. All right. So someone is saying you didn't understand him. He is not referring to himself, but to the Nigerian youth. Ah, okay, oh, if that is what he meant, because he is not continuing with the Islamization agenda as expected. Okay, it's not like you think. Hmm. All right, so Shetima Yerima needs appointment simple. Have you in there? You mean that he needs a simple? He, he needs, a, he needs a, a political appointment, and that's probably what he's uh, hoping for. I don't know how you Nigerians reason. When someone seems to speak to the truth, you call the person all kinds of names. Is this Tinubu making on? Yeah, is this Tinubu making any positive impact in in Nigeria? Fake people everywhere. See how people uh, be nyama nyama. <laughs> I'm a small Tinubu. Be nyama nyama. I am a member of the Labour Party and fully obedient. I will never wish for Tinubu to be your president because his campaign was marred by falsehood, um, gibberish, and rigging. Uh, and rigging. Okay. Uh, however, when it comes to youth empowerment, Tinubu has shown that he has that in mind. One, on a more serious note, even though I dislike Tinubu and always campaign against him deep down i am praying that he proves he proves to me wrong okay uh deep down in my heart i want him to succeed i would prefer to be proven wrong and see tinubu succeed rather than be proven right and witness the whole country fall into disaster as it is heading to us Again, let us show ethnic, religious, and tribal politics. Building a country is uh, not just prayer and wish, wishful sentiment. It is, or uh, it requires uh, brainstorming, improvising, and ingenious wizardry. As Nigerians suffer this remembrance. Okay, remember that we are all suffering with her. Let us always choose the best leaders who um, aren't going to stay here forever. He deserves a good life before we journey to the land beyond. <laughs> so that is what is happening here. Um, the AYCF has alleged that Tinubu that they know today is not the Tinubu they used to know. 
Uh, so that is what is happening. Let's have your comments.